Yeah, what's up? Billy Savetko here. Carson Philbin here. And you're watching a Toad Twins Twinsday. Day. That's right, it's not Tuesday, it's not Wednesday, it's Twinsday. We're gonna make them come out on Tuesday, but traveling crazy. So uh, right now, where are we at? We are in Big Bear, California. Big Bear, California at the Newberry Park track house right here, cross country house. Tour of Eugene, we're releasing a video tomorrow. Yes. 6 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. Eastern time. Don't miss it, we're doing a premiere on YouTube. We're a little bit behind because we've been traveling a lot, so it's kind of hard to edit. But um, this is gonna wrap up Eugene, and now we're gonna be kind of up to date. We'll be posting a lot of Big Bear stuff. We're gonna tell you how we got to where we are today. So, we took off about six days each. We needed a break. Um, Olympic trials killed us, so we went home. I, uh, well, Erie's my home. I went to Nashville and then spent a day or two cleaning some things up, saw some of the buds. Um, got to throw some football with Duck Hodges and Mac Herford. Those guys are Alabama players and NFL players. I was really cool. But then I uh, went to a wedding to see my big boy, DJ Barr. He got married, baby. He's one of my oldest friends ever. He got married um, and uh, we went to Athens, Georgia and Atlanta, Georgia there. Spent some time around there. Got to catch up with Mike Ladisek, saw Mr. Mrs. Pohl. It was great. It was good. Good to go home. Got a lot of mail. We'll put some of those things in here. Got a lot of mail. So thanks for all the pa packages. If you want to send something to me, we'll put an address in the bio, link down there. and You can send us a little package and we'll open it on these. Carson, what did you do? I went home to Charlotte, North Carolina. I got to see two of my best friends, Elliot Schultz and Michael Gallo. Um, I got to run um, at my uh, home trail that I always run at and got to see my parents and go out to eat. It was really nice. So after we spent a little time at home, we flew out back to San Jose where Amanda let us keep our RV there. Their family is incredible. They were so good to us. Her dad made us shoot a little video of him uh, yeah. um, with cleaning the pool. Mom was awesome. Sister, it was amazing. They're pups. Sorry, didn't really like me, but she's all right. Um, <laughs> It was great, and she took us on some adventures. We got to uh, hang out in the pool one day, got some awesome uh, drone footage of that. We also went to San Francisco. I got to see the Golden Gate Bridge and uh, Alcatraz. Like, I kept making making the joke as the Harry Potter as it was, uh, uh, what's that one? Azkaban. Azkaban, Prisoner of Azkaban out there, but Alcatraz. Carson got to see his favorite place ever. Yes, Gap Headquarters. Hey, um place that is very dear to my heart. There was a bad thing that happened in San Jose though. Carson, yeah. what was it? We were flying the drone when we were at the pool and we pushed it to its limit and it fell out of the sky. And drones are expensive. They're like $1,200 plus all the footage in there. It's probably worth more than the yeah. to us than it is the drone. And it was a cliff right at the top, you know, uh, and it was all brush and trees and rocks and it just vroom. And I was like, oh no. So I had to go in there and get it. I yeah. first went in there with flip flops, running shorts, and no shirt. And then I was done. We looked about an hour and a half. I put I put at least a, I didn't put a shirt on, did I? No, I put sneakers on, went down there. Sun started going down, there's mountain lines on the hill. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get this because we're supposed to leave like seven the next day. So I was like, screw it, I'm going in there. And I went like, excuse me, I went basically ape shit on these trees and was through. ripping the trees. They were poking me in the eye, jagging me everywhere. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then Amanda goes, hey, Belly, one of those might be poison oak. And I'm like, huh? But I still went on and just, I went on to find this drone. And after two hours of looking, I ripped it, found it, and it was perfectly fine. Not a scratch, nothing was wrong with it. And uh, the footage was good. It was kind of incredible, but uh, it led to some bad things later on, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Come on, you guys get to say hello. Hi, we're Special at guest. Yee, yee, yee. We're helping make mashed potatoes. Because apparently they don't know how. Those girls are awesome, but let's get back to our story here. So what did we do after that? Well, we got the drone and we headed out, went down to the beach, baby, LA, Mission Viejo. We were going to uh, one of the sound running meets, but more importantly, I got invited, especially from the man himself, Craig Engels asked me to help pace his mustache mile uh, to see how many kids could get underneath four for the first time. I was truly honored. Um, I was like, Craig, I'm not really in shape. I haven't done a workout in eight weeks. He's like, you just have to run a 58. And I'm like, I'm still not in shape. I weigh 185. I'm eating hot dogs and hamburgers for dinner most nights. It's only a 58, the adrenaline. It was on ESPN. I had to do it, yeah. right? So I shaved a nice little mustache, jumped up there, had a nice bib number, and I, uh, 
jumped in there, ran 29, 58, exactly what they wanted, 58.3 to be exact. So it was perfect. Eric Avila took over for 1,000 meters. Craig Engels did 1,200. And uh, two kids went sub four for the first time. Isaac Updike won in 358. Now he finished fifth at the Olympic trials in the steeplechase, so that was, he just hadn't run a mile. He was definitely capable yeah. of doing it. For my other guy, Liam, he broke it for the first time with 359. So that was really awesome. And Liam was a 410 guy, I think, in college. So, you know, that was really cool for him to do that. So to make sure we're prepared for that, besides that workout, uh, we uh, got a big old ugly mug of Craig Angles, high definition, if I may add. Then we put it on the side of our RV. Every, and then we got to park right outside, right out right front. Right in the front, it was perfect. And everyone got to see it and took pictures with it and stuff. And then uh, when we pulled up, they were like, oh, you must be the guys. Like they already knew about us. So they had like a spot kind of picked out for us to park. That was really cool. So thanks Jesse and, and everyone that helped us with that. And we had this on our window, chasing our dreams, traveling in the USA, help us out with gas. We spent about $3,000 in gas. So these guys came up, we had a couple of Venmos, but these guys came up and were like, hey, how can we help? And they gave us $100. Great guys. We talked to them for, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes after. Um, so that was a huge help. Uh, yeah, spending a lot of money, but I hope that we're getting, creating smiles on the way so it's worth it. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That was a cool story, and we're very thankful for those guys. Thank you so much for all your help. But then after that, we were like, let's have some fun. We went to the beach with Craig and uh, who we were with. Craig, Craig Nowak, Nowak, Sinclair Johnson, Jenny, Madison, Ryan, Ryan Cox, and then Craig. We went out, played volleyball, threw some football, uh, body surfed some waves. Like, it was real sick, honestly. Hermosa yeah. Beach, totally dope. Had a sweet sunset. Sweet sunset. Yeah. And then we went out and got dinner. Some guy challenged me to uh, a challenge, and I never say no to a challenge. So uh, I showed him what was up. And uh, yeah, beat him. Duh. We're going to go back to the backstory, though, of what happened when I was climbing those trees. One or two days, nothing really happened. Too bad. But a day or two later, I woke up at like 5 a.m. and I, I went straight to the emergent care, the ER or whatever. I went in and I'm like, I'm dying. And we have some close-ups we can show you, but this poison oak completely took over my body. Like, it is everywhere. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was so bad they put me on a steroid, they put me on a cream and some Benadryl to make sure it helped out but it is so itchy i've been wearing a long sleeve or at least a t-shirt on almost every run and everywhere so that kind of stinks and it really hurts and i will definitely learn my lesson from poison oak but it was all worth it because we got the drone back and after the er boom we tripped it down to big bear california where we are right now is only like two or three hours away and we're at seven thousand feet of elevation yeah we're at the newberry park guys uh what nxn champs nico young school like they're incredible. Coach Sean Brosman is unbelievable. Yeah. He's only been coaching five years and he brought this team from nothing to, you know, NXN. And these guys, we met up with them a little, little bit ago in Nashville for the Toad Fest and they all rep Toads. And a lot of them got their PR. Sam got her PR. Lex, Leo got their PR. Um, Aaron might have. I think Aaron did, yeah. Aaron got his technical full mile PR, but Colin didn't, but it was really close within a second. So it was cool. So it's nice to see the Toads again. We're creating some content with them. You're going to see it all. Um, in the next couple of days, we're going from runs, we're getting interviews with Coach Coach Sean, and we're doing some cliff diving, we're doing some, some day in the life of. Uh, yeah, so you're gonna catch that all here coming up, but make sure you guys watch our tour of Eugene video. Yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff planned. We might go to San Diego, we might go to Flagstaff, we might go to Boulder, Colorado, might go to Utah, um, but where do you guys think we should go? Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Let us know the adventures, let us know where you want us to run, what kind of content you want to see, and we'll make them happen. We are with these guys for a couple more days in Newberry Park, so if you want to see something specific, let us know, yeah. and we'll make it happen. And uh, that's it, we got a lot of stuff to edit, and I got to make sure I uh, fix this stuff up, because ugh. <laughs> Thanks guys, stay wild, have fun. Peace. We work and they sleep, bye.